Do you remember when we met? I recall it clearly. Who could forget? After the sights and sounds of war and death, the dance of bells was like ambrosia. It was in Cantabria, the city of arts. I needed to lie low after the last campaign and rest. I was no longer the Cortes I used to be. Indeed, I was not even in line for a throne any longer. And that didn't mean the elven dancers avoided my eyes for those with heavier pockets. So I found myself wandering the market by a cheap inn I'd managed to get a night at. And there you were, wrapped in silk and fineries, but not fine enough for me to miss your elegant ears. The silks arced above your hair as you spun and jumped across your stage of cobblestones. I remember being entranced, though it did come to my attention that I seemed to be one of many caught up in your performance. You are not the only dancer, however. Some low noble was caught by your partner, who had edged you out of the competition and stolen your thunder along with the gaze of much in the crowd. They gathered all the attention and praise, and you danced and looked their way. Not with envy, but with intent. Now, why is the rabbit looking that way? No, there's no way they're going to. Oh, the, the way they're looking at that poor sword. <laughs> they did it. God's above, there they go. With his whole coin purse as well. Holy hells and gods above, look at them go. So fast. Hmm. Interesting. Well, rabbit. Run. And see how far your legs take you. Mm. Well then. I better head back. Maybe I'll just take a shortcut. Show the alleyways aren't too bad here. Oh? What's this now? A couple of no lives cornering an innocent. Nothing to do with me. You've cornered a friend of mine in an alleyway. And you expect me to walk away? What do you mean? I don't look like I'd know a leveret. Are you specious or something? Well, if you're shaking down dancers in an alleyway, I guess you shouldn't really surprise me. I guess I will just... have to take care of it. I'm sure you've got enough coin on you to make it worth my while. <laughs> Look at them run. Not as fast as you, though. Dang. I can't help but be disappointed that they don't stick around. They could use a good fight. It's been a bit. No. About you. Hey, hey. Nah, 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 nah. Don't run. I won't hurt you. I just want to talk. All right. I saw you steal that purse off of that rube. No, I'm not going to turn you in. They don't pay me enough to be a guardsman. I'm interested in you. You dance for cash, or just use that as a distraction? 
the other dancer. Family member? Friend? Partner? And... Are your ears as soft as they look? They're beautiful. Don't look at me like that. I don't know what my liking your general countenance has to do with you being liberate. I just like you. Well, you don't have to believe me. But, um... We've both got money to burn, it looks like, at least now. Why don't you go with me to find something to eat? No, Rabbit, I'm not fooling around with you. I'm at the gilded cafe around the corner. And by the light in your eyes, I think you know exactly where that is. Walk with me. <laughs> Take my arm if you wish, I do not mind. You and I both know that you are faster than I am, particularly in my gear, what with those legs of yours. Me? Well, I am Zell. <laughs> Nosy, now aren't you? I'm hired muscle. Lensknecht. Couldn't you tell by the Zweander? <laughs> Are you telling me now that you don't know of the defamed and dethroned princess and first palatine of the High Court, Newburgh? Cast aside, Celestine of the Untermark Convent? <laughs> it is okay if you do not. I am simply a fighter now. They pay my wage and I win them battles. No lord or lady or castle to speak of. But enough about me. I can tell you've got stories in you. And I've been around courts and dances long enough to figure out who is the most interesting. Who are you, rabbit? So you're telling me you've been traveling with this troop for months now and they still do not trust you? Because you're not human or elvish? What bullshit? Did they put you up to that trick you pulled? 80%? Who do these half-trained two left-feet urban shellers think they are? To put you at risk and pay you pittance. The guardsmen around here are quite vicious and looking to gain favor with nobles. The alley lurkers are not different. Oh, oh, oh no, rabbit, little thing. You are crying. Don't worry, don't worry. You are safe with this strong fighter, Zell. Come here, come here. You've had too much to drink. <laughs> I want to talk as well, I suppose. Let me hold you for a bit. My side of the booth has room. Ah. There we are. No, oh, I am sorry. Is this all right? I simply wish to make you feel better. And your ears are so soft. See, you like it. You keep pushing your head into my hand. It's okay. I will give you all the softest head pats you have ever had. There, there, it's okay, little rabbit. Little leveret. You can stay with Zell as long as you like. 
And I will compliment your hair and stroke your ears and watch over you when you dance and fool poor souls into love with your steps. Good rabbit. Good rabbit. Don't you worry, little rabbit. Don't worry. Hey everyone, Gigi here. Thank you so much for listening to this week's audio. It's good to be back. Uh, I have launched some new merchandise on my Patreon. If you've been following my Twitter and on Discord, um, there are stickers now, and I will have postcards put up. And there is a new tier that includes a reward for a sweatshirt with a design I made myself. I'd also like to give a big shout out, of course, to my Patreon supporters. You guys are what's making this all possible, and I appreciate you hanging around and giving me your support and advice and love. Uh, namely, Rating for Pants, Jacob M, Ryan W, Epic Snailian, Jack C, Luis L, Jacob C, Eve of Spades, totally not a bouquet of eels. Gruff, James L, Lee, P D B, Ben V, Timothy L, Frosty, Slimecore. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye.